three. My dear students, so today we are going to study about the clotting of blood. The clotting of blood, as we all know, is a series of chemical reaction that takes place in order to bring about the clot so that the ruptured part of the body from where the blood oozes comes to a stop. So now we shall study about this process called clotting of blood. So the clotting of blood is called coagulation or simply referred to as blood clotting. We know when we meet with an injury, the blood begins to ooze out from the part which is injured. Here, the blood vessel gets ruptured. And as the blood vessel gets ruptured, what happens? The blood begins to come out. So you see in this diagram that this blood vessel has ruptured and the blood is oozing out. However, the blood cannot keep on oozing out because this is brought to a stop by chemical reaction that takes place and brings about the formation of a blood clot. So what happens when there is a rupture in the blood vessel? The platelets comes to the point from where the rupture has begun. And as soon as the platelets come out there, a number of chemical reaction takes place. And finally, a plug is formed. P-L-U-G. Plug is formed at the point where there is a rupture. And as soon as this plug is formed, the blood stops to ooze out from the zone where the blood vessel has got ruptured. This plug which is formed, is called a clot. So this was a diagrammatic illustration to show briefly how clotting takes place. Now to understand it in a little more detail, we will look into the steps of chemical reaction which brings about coagulation of blood or blood clotting. So in the very beginning, as I mentioned, the platelets come to the point of the rupture and they release a chemical substance called thromboplastin. This thromboplastin is also called Stewart factor or factor 3. As soon as this factor called thromboplastin is produced, the protein called prothrombin, which is in an inactive form, gets activated and when this protein called prothrombin gets activated it becomes thrombin however for the prothrombin to get activated into thrombin it requires thromboplastin as well as presence of calcium ions now as soon as thrombin is produced the soluble proteins called fibrinogen gets changed into insoluble protein called fibrin. This fibrin is the one which forms a mesh-like structure which ultimately forms a plug at the site of rupture in the blood vessel. So this fibrin which is in a soluble form in the blood gets converted into insoluble form called fibrin in the presence of thrombin. So as soon as this fibrin is formed, what happens? The fibrin begins to form mesh-like structure. M-E-S-H, mesh-like structure. So when this mesh-like structure is formed, the blood cells get entangled on these mesh-like structures. So the blood cell begins to get entangled out here in these mesh-like structures. So this blood cells, when gets entangled, 
on the mesh like structure composed of the fibrine protein it forms a plug and this plug is called thrombus or blood clot which is brought about by finally the formation of fibrin which forms a mesh so ultimately in the chemical reaction that is taking place that is the chain of reaction out here finally the fibrin will entangle the corpuscles forming a blood clot which is biologically termed as thrombus so what is happening in the process of blood clotting a number of chemical reactions are taking place one after the other ultimately to plug the site of rupture in the blood vessel and to stop the oozing of blood so this is briefly the explanation given for the steps involved in the process of blood coagulation or blood clotting thank you